Everybody, get excited. We get to use chains while we back squat this cycle. So chains are really great. What they do is they help train our strength out of the hole of our back squat or front squat. So the hole is when I get to the bottom of my squat and I have trouble getting out of that bottom position back up to the stand, the chains are gonna help with that. So what happens is this chain, as I go down, it's gonna collect in a pile on the floor, which is therefore gonna reduce how much weight is on my bar. So on the way down, it's getting lighter. And when I stand up, we're gonna pick the chain back up off the floor, making it heavier, which is making it heavier out of the hole, therefore training our strength adaptations to get out of the hole easier for when we start doing our heavier back squats. So I wanna walk you through the chains, how to use them and how to set them up. So first of all, they look like this. All right, so you've got the weight part of the chain. So these are weighted chains, the bigger, thicker links, and it's connected by a bigger uh, clip. Then we have the smaller chain. The smaller chain is what we're going to clip in and out of while we're doing our squat, and it should have a small clip at the end. We need to make sure that before we set up our chains, the big clip is connected to the big chains, and the small clip is at the very end of our small chains. Right, yeah, very end over here. So how you're gonna hook this up is, we're going to try to lower our chains down until we have maybe two or three chains touching the floor. From here, we're gonna take this clip and clip it in. You have to clip the small clip into the small chain. So if I wanted to do like a super easy reach down, I'm not gonna clip it into here. I'm going to clip it into the bottom, the last small chain before the big one. All right, but if I do that, woo, if I only clip it in here, the whole thing comes to the floor. So remember, if that happens, you're gonna pull it back up, get my two to three lengths of the chain on the ground, and then I'm gonna clip it into two of the small lengths. So pretty much anywhere on the chain, I'm gonna clip it into the first one, and then I'm gonna clip it into the second one, and now it's gonna stay. When you go to put on your second chain, you can do the eyeball method where you do the same thing, one to two links on the floor, clip it in, or you can do the exact method where you get one to two links on the floor and then you count where your clip is. I have from the big chain, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 links. So I would do the same thing. I would count 23 links, clip it in, now we're good to go. Once you have your chains on your barbell, you don't move them, all right? So wherever you are sharing the height of your barbell, so wherever these um, clip, uh, J clips hooks are, you and your partner are just gonna keep the same chains in the same spot. What you can change out is gonna be your plates. So all of your load is gonna go on top of or in front of the chains so that way you can change them in and out as we go. All right, and then you'll obviously put your clips there as well. So that way you and your partner can have different weights. When you're done, we take our plates away, put them away. We unclip our link right here. And then we have to check to make sure it's set back up right. Is my big hook next to the big chain? And is my small hook all the way at the end? It's not, so I need to make sure I take that small hook and I put it all the way back at the end so that way the next person who has to use this has a much easier time getting set up. Then all you have to do is you just pile them up right by the upright and you are good to go. Besides obviously cleaning your barbell and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm really excited for you guys. You're going to see some really fun strength gains, plus squatting with chains is just super fun. So let me hear what you think.